Hi, the topic is 01 abstract problem using dynamic programming. Already I have one video on this problem where I have explained how the dynamic programming approach is used for solving 01 abstract problem. There I have shown more than one methods. But here I am going to discuss the program for that one. So I have written a program and I will trace the program and solve the problem so that you get the idea how to write a program for this type of problem. You may be aware of the problem that a knapsack problem is a bag is given. You have to include the objects in the bag such that the capacity should not increase. And when you include the bag, you will get the profit and you should include the complete object or don't include at all. Now, for solving this one, I have taken one instance example here. So inside the program, if you see, look at the program. This is the data that I need. I need array of profits, array of weights and the number of objects and the total capacity of the bag. Now one thing to observe here is I have only four objects but the array size I have taken five because we want to start counting from one. First object will not call it as zero, we will call it as one. That is the reason I am taking zeroth index empty that is zero, this is also zero. Now for solving this problem we need a table. So that table size should be of five comma nine. So 5 is 0 to 4 for 4 objects and the 9 is 0 to 8 for 8 weights. So whatever the capacity is you should take that many columns and how many objects you have that many rows and you should add 0th row and 0th column also. So that's all okay of 5 to 9. 5 means 0 to 4, 9 means 0 to 8. So I'll get 5 rows and 9 columns. Now this is the working. See one thing. I have written just a main function, everything inside main function. I did not write it into multiple functions because I don't need it here. If I have to write, I can write the logic in some other function and divide the program into two or three functions, but it's waste. I have written a simple code here and this will work only for this example. If you want it to work for a different example, just change the values and compile it and run it. If you say no, it should always run for different type of uh, objects, a different number of objects then take these values as input from the keyboard. Ask how many objects are there, what is the capacity, and what are their weights and profits. You can add the code here. Now remaining part, this is the logic. So I have focused only on the logic. Let us follow this one. How this is working? This is nested for loop. I value is taking from zero to n, means zero to four. I is for rows of this table. And the W value is from zero to m. So, 0 to 8. It is for columns. i and j will be changing the values of rows and columns. How they work? Let us trace this two for loops and fill up the table. Initially i is 0, i is 0 and i is less than equal to m, n so enter inside and w is also 0, w is 0. Now enter inside. If i is 0 or w is 0, if any one of them is 0, then this condition is true. If you observe, there are three cases here. So this is first and the second and the third. So if is true, so i comma w is made as 0. That is 0 comma 0 is made as 0. This is 0. So actually right now i is here. That is on 0 row, And the w was here. Now w will move to 1. So this is 0 comma 1. So enter in sight. Again, i value 0 only. So this will be 0. See now w will be taking the values from 0, 1, 2 till 8. So w will become 2, then 3, then 4, then till 8. Always i is 0 only. So this will be filled with zeros only. Now next is this inner loop ends. Now i plus plus i becomes 1. i moves to row 1. Now we'll be considering first object. Now let us start W. W will be 0. Now first time when W is 0, then also the same first condition is true. So this will be 0. So till now only first condition was true. Next let us see. W becomes 1. W becomes 1. Now when W becomes 1, this is not true. Now check this one. Weight of ith object is less than or equal to W. What is W? 1. Weight of the object is already I have written it here. Weight is 2 here. 2. Weight of 1. Right? I is 1. It's 2. 
2 is it less than w no else this one what to write here in k of i comma w write i minus 1 comma w that is 1 comma 1 right 0 comma 1 so that is 0 only that value in the above row in the same column just fill up the same value so we have seen this also and this also now next w becomes 2 when w is 2 1 comma 2 now this time this condition will be true weight of an object is less than or equal to w so weight of an object weight of 1 2 that is equal to 2 now this formula is computed let us see how this formula is computed so i'll follow the formula k of 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 i comma w is max of p of i profit of first object so p of first object plus k of i minus 1 k of i is what 1 1 minus 1 and w of sorry w minus weight of the object what is w 2 so what is the weight of an object weight of an object is 2 2 comma next value k of i minus 1 i is 1 1 minus 1 and w is 2 only i have to take the maximum out of these two let us fill the values and check profit of first object is 1 plus k of 0 comma 0 is 0 comma this is 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 this 0 so which is maximum 1 take it as 1 that's it next value of w changes it becomes 3 now i will simply change the values w is a 3 now so this is a 3 w is 3 so this is uh, 3 and this is also 3 let us fill up the values p1 profit will be 1 only plus this is 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 is also 0 only comma this is 0 comma 3 0 comma 3 this value the upper value is 0 only so it's 1 so anyway all these rows will be 1 only if i use the formula and always this second condition will be true and it will be entering in and finding the maximum value let us go to next row i becomes 2 and w again starts from 0 now this time w is 0 one of the values is 0 so it will enter here it will fill 0 and 2 comma 1 when w is 1 see this condition weight of an object is less than or equal to w weight of an object is 3 is it less than this one no this is greater than that one so it will enter into else part and it will write down the value in the previous row in the same column so it will write 0 only for here also 1 and for here now it is equal so now it will enter into the second part so let me evaluate second part for this particular row now this is 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 profit of second object this is 2 minus 1 weight is 3 and the weight of this object is also 3 2 minus 1 and the weight is 3 I have filled the values in this formula directly maximum of p of 2 profit of the second object is 2 plus this is 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 is 0 comma this is 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 is 1 which is minimum 2 2 is written here now in the next value also you will get 2 only if you try that but here for this it will change let me show you this so i is a 2 only w is a 5 so i will change the value of w this is 5 and this is 5 and this is 5 for the same row what are the values profit of second object is 2 plus k of 1 comma this is 2 1 comma 2 is 1 1 
comma this is 1 comma 5 1 comma 5 is 1 only 1 out of this which is minimum maximum 2 plus 1 3 is maximum we got 3 this means that when the capacity of the bag is 5 we can fill up two objects both objects this one both see their weights are 2 and 3 total is 5 so we can include both the objects rest I'll get the same thing only 3 3 3 now when I becomes a 3 third object till weight 4 will be getting same thing in the previous row now here this object can be included we get 5 and the next also 5 if you use the formula next this one I'll show you 3 comma 6 k of 3 comma 6 is maximum of p of third object plus k of 2 and the weight is how much 6 w is 6 and the weight of this one is weight is 6 minus weight of the object is 4 6 minus 4 comma k of 2 comma 6 let us check profit of this object 5 plus 2 comma this is 2 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 is 1 1 comma 2 comma 6 2 comma 6 is 3 which one is greater 6 so answer is 6 this means that when the capacity of the bag is a 6 we can include these two objects these two objects 4 as well as 2 means first object and the second object so the profit that we get is 6 let us try next when it is 7 so 3 comma 7 so this becomes 7 and this becomes 7 profit of this object is 5 plus 2 comma 7 minus 4 that is 3 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 is 2 2 comma 2 comma 7 2 comma 7 is 3 3 which one is greater 7 7 what does this mean when the capacity of the bag is 7 we can include these two objects you see their weights are 3 plus 4 7 so it will be profit will be 7 5 plus 2 7 so rest also I'll get 7 this way every time second condition is true and these are getting filled right first and last condition will not get filled now for the fourth row fourth row its weight is 5 till 5 these will be as it is and fifth profit will be six and when it is six it will be six only and when it is seven then these two can be included so that is two and five they can be included so this will be seven seven and at eight these two can be included five and three so this will be eight without the formula i am showing you now you have understood how this code is working finally see out k of n comma w n is a 4 w is 8 so this is the answer this is the answer so this is the optimal cost we got now we want to know which object is included which is not included so for that we can start i from n that is n and j from m that is 8 so 4 comma 8 they will start for 4 comma 8 now what to do if k of i comma j is equal to k of i minus 1 comma j this means that if this value is already present in this one also it means if this is also 8 means fourth object is not included this solution is not because of including fourth object we got 8 now only so this means fourth object is included so if this is equal means it is not included so if it is not included then what I can do is see out 4 that is fourth object that is I is equal to 0 this will be displayed right and then and also go to the previous object so and weight will be same only i minus minus i have written in the single row only because else 
See, this is not equal. This is not equal. Then what to do? It means this object is included. So C out I is equals to 1. This is included in the bag. And this is end L. End L. Then what more I should do? Go to the previous row. Okay. I minus minus. But what about weight? When this object is included, I have to know to the previous object whether it is included or not. So the weight of this object that is six should sorry five should be subtracted from j. So I'll remove this. J assign j minus weight of that object, i object, weight of that object. And that's all. This is an else part. So this I have to continue. I have to go on doing it while i is greater than 0 and j is greater than 0. So this loop will print what all the values included. See how we do it. See fourth object included. Now the weight of this object is 5. Subtract 5 with 3. So go to 2 comma 3. Sorry 3 comma 3. 3 comma 3 2. But this was there here also. So third object is not included. Now 2 comma 3. This one. This is all was not there here so this object is included right then the weight of this is subtracted 0 comma 0 so you'll get 0 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 it was here also so this is not included so this means second and the fourth object is included okay so quickly i have shown you i guess you know how to do this one so the piece of code i have written if you want to continue writing here so using a loop you can go from the last row towards the first zeroth row and find out which objects are included which are not included see it is just playing with the values only just filling the values but the code is important so i have shown you the code tracing of the program so this program you can find it in the link